Hello, this is Dr. Walters with a brief vodcast on the micro-interactionist perspective in sociological theory, one of three main traditions. The micro-interactionist perspective or the symbolic interactionist perspective typically deals with face-to-face -face or small group interaction. The micro-interactionist perspective has its intellectual roots in what we refer to as the Chicago School or a general paradigm emerging from the University of Chicago around the turn of the 20th century. It is part of a transition in American universities from a teaching orientation to a research orientation and from religious training for the ministry to more secular education. It is also part of the emergence of sociology as an academic discipline in America with roots in pragmatism or the American pragmatic school and German idealism. Pragmatism means that it is derived from practical applications, the American forte, and the function of thinking is to guide action. Idealism is one of the older philosophical traditions within European thinking, and it opened the path for systematic examination of what we refer to as consciousness, that is, what's inside the black box. And more importantly, for what we would call a sociology of mind. The interactionist perspective is also part of the emergence of the science of evolution adaptation. The, the a whole idea or science of adaptation is that species adapt to their environment and that human behavior and consciousness thus also adapt. Within this framework, empirical research replaced library research and archival research with field work or field research, interviews, observations, personal documents, census data, uh, news reports, and the use of ethnography or up-close uh, observation of human interaction. Again, part of the Chicago School is its uh, relationship to urban ecology or using these empirical research tools to examine patterns of settlement in urban areas. It, it deals with how different groups of people defined, assessed, evaluated, and thought about a wide variety of situations. Especially the urban context provided an enhancement of contact between established and newly arriving immigrant groups. During the period of the early 20th century, social disorganization was actually the term or the conceptual conceptualization of, as a sociological issue rather than an issue of individual failure. So sociologists and especially sociologists in the Chicago School, began to examine or analyze primary and secondary groups, that is the family and the neighborhood, as well as institutions such as schools, to give thought to or explanation for problems of social disorganization or behavioral issues. So a lot of, a lot of the material that came out dealt with uh, gang behavior and other phenomena that were part of this new blend of urban life. It looked at competing systems of values and disruptions to the normative order. The idea that beliefs, attitudes, and values have consequences for individuals and should be treated as cultural realities. The key features of the symbolic interactionist or micro-interactionist perspective is the micro level of analysis or the examina examination of face-to-face -face interaction in small groups and the focus on the interpretation of symbols as the coinage for that interaction. Symbols represent people and objects in the imagination. Language is a key form of symbolic 
relationships or in symbolic interactions, exchanges. And the self thus, as an idea, or the self itself, emerges in a triadic relationship between the self, symbols, and imagined others. Equally important in the symbolic interactionist perspective was Thomas's idea of a definition of the situation such that things were real if they were real and their consequences. Cooley's understanding of looking glass self, which we will deal with shortly, Mead's idea of the generalized other, and then later works such as Goffman, uh, Jerry Suttles, Elijah Anderson, the most important works in the early 20th century were probably Jane Addams with Hull House Maps and Papers, Charles Horton Cooley, Human Nature and Social Order, John Dewey, George Herbert Mead, Robert Parks, and Thomas N. Zanyecki, who did work on the Polish peasant. Remember that the symbolic interactions perspective is one of three important traditions in sociology.